is up y'all happy tuesday um obviously i'm like in a really good mood today i woke up like feeling really good y'all slept so well last night um i woke up this morning and beyond was still here i love tuesdays um because he goes into class later and um it's always like the best because we kind of get to just kind of hang out in the mornings like eat breakfast together sit on the couch watch a little tv like i told him that makes me feel like we're in college again <laughs> that's why i love it um but of course he's gone to class now um but i feel so productive today it's only one o'clock and i feel so productive i've worked i've had like two three meetings so far um got my work done uh let's see i've edited or dion edited i reviewed his edits um this morning got the um the vlog is currently uploading for today uh i went and renewed our lease talked to the apartment complex about that um i put up some curtains in my office i had ordered some curtains and they came in yesterday and i picked up this morning and i'm like I'm so excited because like it, you know like whenever you envision something and like it starts to all come together that's exactly what's happening in my office so i'm like real hype y'all low-key um, I won't show you guys then, but I did get, well, I had ordered two. I can show you guys the color of them. So I had ordered two pairs of curtains from Target because I'm, I mentioned before I just order everything and then see what I like and then return what I don't. And so I had ordered two pair. One pair was velvet and that's the pair I ended up using. The other pair was just like satin curtains and they're like this teal shade. I showed you guys the, the picture that I put up in my office. And so here's the. This is a satin ones, which I don't, I don't like to use as much. I'm, I, I love the, I love the velvet one, so I'm using those. But this is the color that the curtains are. So it's so weird because the office, I feel like, I feel like I love it so much because it's completely different from any room within the house. Like you guys know that I love neutral shades. I love like black, white, gray, tan. Like I love neutrals. And I love keeping it pretty simple. Um, but whenever I redecorated the office, I wanted it to be, I mentioned before that I wanted it to be a very inspiring place. A place that kind of gives me like a little bit of, you know, a little bit of inspo. And so um, I added some color in there. Like I said, I changed out the curtains. I added this like really, really cute, I wish y'all see it. Like this really cute rug. I'm not done with it. I have to wait for, I ordered a new office chair. And then um, I have to order some like hardware for my shelves. And I think after that I'll be done. I have like, of course I put in pictures and stuff in the picture frames and stuff like that. But for the most part, no, I have to also put these little pieces that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put on the wall. I have to see if it'll work on the wall. And then after that I'll be done. So we're almost there, we're like 80% done. Um, but I'm excited because it, it's, it's so different from everything else in the room. So like when I walk in there, it feels like a place of like, just inspiration that's that's the whole point of it so i did that this morning i put the curtains up this morning um i just feel good and now i'm about to go on my lunch break <clears throat> i'm gonna go take not no what i'm going to go run to grab some food and then also get my eyebrows done because um my eyebrows you guys are atrocious and i'm trying to hold out to get them done right before i go um to Oklahoma this weekend, but I can't do it anymore. I just, I try to hold out till Thursday, but I can't make it till Thursday. Like I am barely holding on right now. And then the camera, it looks decent, but like y'all see these bad boys up close, they are just a hot mess. So I'm gonna go run and grab some food and then go get my brows done because they're close, um, they're close by. And then later on, like I have so much to do before I leave. So I'm trying to like plan out my days if that makes sense like today is brows nails and uh well yeah brows and nails tomorrow is hair wash day and probably wax day and then thursday is going to be um car wash day and packing day yeah that'll be it so and then we head out on friday so lots to do this week like all i'm i cannot wait for this weekend like can't wait to see my line, sisters. Can't wait to see my line, sisters. I'm so, I'm so, 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 so excited. Okay, anyways, let me go ahead and put this stuff um, up real quick and then head out to go get my lunch and I'll be right back. So I'm currently on the way to get my brows done, but I wanted to talk to you guys about something real quick. Okay, so recently I have realized that 
I am actually addicted to working. I, I don't know if it's addicted to the word, um, but I really like, I preach a lot about time management because I truly believe that time management is like so important. Um, but every now and then y'all, I find myself like not being able to stop. Like I'll get started on something and like I'll get so engulfed in what I'm doing and so like, like I'll have such tunnel vision that I have to literally like <laughs> snap out of it, which I guess is a good thing, especially as an entrepreneur, it's a great thing. Um, but you know, as a wife, <laughs> it could be a problem sometimes. And it's something that I'm continuously working on. Like, okay, so for example, last night, and this happens really often, which is sad. Okay, so last night, whatever, um, Dion came home from school and I had like um, worked on some stuff uh, earlier just so that I could be done by the time he got home. And so we were like getting dressed for bed or whatever, getting ready for bed or whatever. No, we were about to go like, sit on the couch um, and watch some TV before we went to bed. And <laughs> I had told him, I'm like, okay, so I, I had to submit a, a form for something. And um, he's like, babe, you know, come on out here, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, babe, you know, hold on one second, I had to, to submit this thing, just, you know, just give me like two minutes. Okay, and literally what I was supposed to do, it should have taken me like two minutes. Y'all, I literally looked up and it was like two hours later, <laughs> two hours later. And then I was like, babe, I'm, I'm going to bed now. And I'm like, no, 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 I, I'm sorry, like, you know, and that happens to me every now and then and I feel so bad. Well, it's like, well, I know he doesn't really mind. I know he doesn't really mind or care that much. I mean, sometimes like I, like, I know what he does. Whenever I know he really, really cares, I'm like, okay, got to cut it off. Um, and I also know that, Dion, that that he understands why I'm, why I'm doing what I'm doing. Like he's supportive of what I'm doing. So, you know, it's not that kind of situation, but I have to like force myself to like cut it off and it's just, hard sometimes it really is just like hard to like break to like break it especially like whenever you do do time management and do plan out your days and do stick to your schedule and then you like happen to you know touch something oh touch something that involves work and then you like get work tunnel vision and like you kind of just sucked into it like <laughs> that happens very often and like I'm not complaining, I just I just have to figure out like how to snap out of it. Hopefully I'll get better soon, um, and can do a better job of of not being addicted to my work, you know. So so yeah, for everyone who always asks me about how I balance everything and all that, the answer is time management. But there's also the piece to it that sometimes you will struggle with it. You will struggle with not being able to balance everything you will struggle with not having time management and that's where having a spouse who is um or a significant other you know who is supportive of what you're doing that's where you know it'll really come in handy because that's honestly like that's what makes it not okay but you know that's that's what makes it work you know what i'm saying so i am telling y'all marry some I, I always tell people date and marry somebody who's on you know be supportive of you so be rooting for you you know and you know like whenever like you do have to work a late night or do have to you know like go on a work trip or you know spend a lot of time at work like who's not gonna be complaining you know 24 7 like you no know, get someone who's gonna be cheering you on who's gonna be actually maybe need anything while you suck at your computer you know find you a supportive boo a supportive bae Support, hashtag supportive bae 2018 that's what that's what we should be <laughs> striving for all right, y'all got the brows done, and oh my gosh, I feel like a whole new woman. Like, I feel like I said that every time I got brows done, but I feel like once I get my brows done, I feel so much better, and they look so good. Like, this is my brows, no product on anything. Growing in nicely. She did a good job today. I'm pleased. Okay, now I'm starving, so let's go ahead and go grab some food, and then get back home to finish some work. Okay, y'all, so I'm currently sitting here waiting for my pizza to get done, but I want to show you guys um, you guys know we love to give you guys food recommendations. So here's my favorite pizza spot in Austin. It's called Home Slice. And it looks like this. There's actually two parts. The part over there that has like the actual restaurant part. And then this is like more of like the stand, I guess. You can just walk up to the window and order. Um, but it is so good. And also, I love it, y'all, because if you guys like New York style pizza, this place has it. That's why I always come here. 
um, and again, it is so stinking good. What is up, y'all? So obviously, it is way later at night time. I got chicken head here with me. You got chicken head. <laughs> got him here with me. Uh, he's just over there making his nasty oatmeal thing. Y'all know how he makes. Y'all know what he makes. It, it looks so disgusting. It looks like cottage cheese. Like it looks so. Keep his body right where you want it. You said what? It's that cottage cheese to keep his body right where you want it. Or whatever. You might. You need to work a little harder because the body ain't ain't there. I'm just saying. You didn't want to sit there last night. But anyways, and he lying, y'all. Just say so I know. Anyways. What this morning? Hey, shut up. <laughs> Ignore him. Anyways, we're just sitting here. Um, eating some din din and watching y'all know Dion's show the flash over there um, I have made these meatballs. But I'm pretty sure they're my best meatballs ever. Wouldn't you say babe? Yeah, they're really really good Like instead of like making them real plain I had actually used like a well It was an easy recipe, but I had used Parmesan cheese breadcrumbs um, Garlic powder it said that I used to add an egg in there, but I didn't do that and it still came out fine um, Is that it? Just the meat, breadcrumbs, the, tr the Parmesan cheese, the and the, the seasonings. Um, so it was like really easy to make, and they came out really good. Like Dion's already ate one, two, three, three. four. I ate three. No, there's four missing, babe. Okay, you gonna tell me what I ate? Okay, three. So he says. The meatballs are good. I thought Jesus himself came down and kissed them, cause you know I ain't used to you making good stuff like that. <laughs> that was shade on. That was shady. Oh, I'm saying. Please, I'm saying. I'm saying. Some of that's gonna be shady. I'm just saying. Baby, how's my hands? Whatever. Babe, can you? You know what you can make? No. My favorite? No. No. Uh, the stuffed chicken? No. Oh uh, well, I don't want your ugly stuffed chicken anyway. Well, yes, you did. That's why you asked me for no, it. No, I didn't. I was lying. My stuffed chicken is really good, though. No, it really, it really is good. My feta cheese stuffed chicken. Okay. It is really good. Okay. Okay. So, anyway, we're eating here dinner. Well, I had made the meatballs, but we're actually eating leftover Rotel before it goes bad. We made this, well, Dion made this last night. So, I'm just eating this over here. I think everybody's gonna sit on the couch and watch a little TV before we hit the bed, hit the haystack. What was that? That's not It was your idea. I, I think most of he is terrible. How's, how's he going to just when we sit on the couch and hang out and then he's from my, oh, he can't do it. I didn't say this because you guys said not to say Whatever. Anyway, y'all, we're going to call it a night here. I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow. Bye, y'all.